Welcome back to the channel. If you have not been here before, welcome. If you have been here before, thank you for returning. We are on week 12 of this contrave journey. Okay, first thing we're going to talk about this week is I finally, finally figured out the constipation thing. I wasn't taking enough magnesium citrate. I had bought magnesium citrate, thought it wasn't working, and then I bought the magnesium oxide. That didn't seem to do anything for me. So something told me to circle back around to the citrate because I knew at one point it worked. Well, here we go. I upped the dosage <laughs> and now it works. And so instead of taking one pill, which I think is 250 milligrams, I'm taking two of the 250 milligram pills and it works amazing no problems. So if anybody's having any issues, check out magnesium citrate. I knew this from before. I don't know how I forgot it, but it has solved that problem. So let me tell you what happened to me. This was last Friday. I had a doctor's appointment and I had to fast. So I didn't take any of my medication except for my blood pressure meds. Go to the doctor's appointment, which was around 10, 15. Got back home, maybe close to one. And that was the first time I was eating and the first time I was taking the Contrave. And let me tell you, <laughs> I took the Contrave at 1 p.m. I took two pills at 1 p.m., the ones that I usually take in the morning, and they actually kept the cravings away through the evening. So I'm wondering if I need to just move the time that I take it. Instead of taking it in the morning when I eat breakfast, which was around 9-ish or so, that I should probably take it around 1 p.m. <laughs> and it will probably do more for me because I always know in the morning I'm really not having cravings and the cravings start to come in the afternoon. So now I'm figuring out that if I take those two pills in the afternoon, like one o'clock, um, it doesn't affect my sleep and that's that, that seems to work. So I'm also wondering now, because I'm gonna start working again and if I'm gonna be working, I'm gonna be getting up earlier and I'm wondering if I could take the two pills early enough that I can take the two in the afternoon earlier and how that'll do. I'm thinking about doing that, but we're not there yet. <laughs> we're, not, we're not quite there yet. We're going to figure this out. So here's some more good news. When I went to the doctor last Friday, of course, I said I had my blood drawn and I got my results really late Friday night. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, Lord, let me open them up and see what it says. But actually, total cholesterol actually dropped 47 points. My HDL went up one. It was 86, which is wonderful. And it went up to 87. So the one thing I noticed in my test results is that my LDL dropped 45 points between May and now. <laughs> and that's really good. We're not talking about taking any supplements because I took myself off of any supplement that could help me get my cholesterol down. I was quite surprised about that and I think my doctor was quite surprised because this is the first time she didn't fuss at me. So she knows I'm on this weight loss journey. It's the first time she knows I'm on Contrave and I told her I'm going to be on it a little longer. We talked about um, getting on Wagovi at some point when my new insurance kicks in. So to be well, continued. <laughs> I found this thing in July, this app, I should say, that I don't remember who I saw talking about. I probably was on one of the weight loss chat rooms or something, but it's called 360, I think. And it is um, something else. For you people who like to obsess over pounds and weight loss and scales and stuff, this gives you an alternative to that. So the app will scan your body and by scanning your body, it's able to tell you measurements for pretty much almost every part of your body. And that is a better way of seeing your weight loss without seeing it on the scale. So I compared July to I think September and I think in almost every category it showed that they decreased, except for my waist. And I don't know, if, it's always something with the waist, but the stomach is the last thing to go for me and that could have been bloating or whatever, but it's like every other measurement went down and my lean body mass went up, which is good. So this app, I advise you to get it this week. And I kind of had a feeling my scale was gonna be, I shouldn't say my scale, my weight was gonna be weird. I ended up, according to the scale, gaining 0.4 pounds. And I was like, okay, <laughs> it's fine. You know how you are with the scale. So I didn't freak out as much, but I'm very much aware of how things are and how my cravings, as I've said, has come back 
and somebody mentioned the protein thing and I have been dropping my protein. I was doing so much better on protein and that probably was keeping the cravings down. And now <laughs> I need to up my protein again. So anyway, I want to keep this short and I will talk to you next week. It's going to be week 13. Come back and subscribe and do whatever you got to do to come back next week and check out the next video. Talk to you later. Bye.